to all of you. Uh, I am honored to be part of this TED, uh, TEDx talk and uh, enlighten my young friends to, to, to understand what I do. Uh, my name is Anis Aydinwala, I'm a diving instructor. I've been diving since 25 years and lived a lot in Lakshadweep. Uh, that's where it all started for me. Uh, coming back to my first trip to Lakshadweep was just amazing in its own way because uh, when, I'm, when I was working with an ad filmmaker and one of the drawers in the office had a photograph of my boss on a, on a beautiful island with uh, white sands and blue waters and I, it just amazed me, I said, where is this? ASAP was the reply, this is Lakshadweep. I said, so when, the, when are we going for a holiday? And the next thing we realized that we are planning this holiday out and uh, we, we are on our way to Lakshadweep. That's where I tried my first dive ever by putting on a mask scuba equipment in shallow waters and it was just an amazing feeling to breathe underwater and when I came out I was like smiling and I don't know what what happened but it was just one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had uh, that's what hit me and triggered me that I'd love to teach and you know get people excited about this sport and we are onward to uh, coming back to inaugurate the dive center in Lakshadweep and next I realized I'm on my way to Mauritius to become an instructor and do my course and get certified so that I could come back and run the diving center in Lakshadweep. And that's what I did for 10 years and loved every bit of it, taking people underwater, introducing them, getting them certified. And every time they came out with that smile, that was my reward. I loved it. It was great fun. Um, so diving for me has always been passionate. and. Uh, the respect for the ocean has been huge because we're too small. The ocean is really large and massive. So my only advice to a lot of people at sea and you know doing whatever else they bring with the sea and the ocean and water bodies is <clears throat> don't take the sea for granted. It's too big and it's too powerful. That's what my instructor once told me and it's registered in my head forever. So I've been diving for 25 years and now we run a dive club in Bombay City where we've got the sport closer to the people in the city and we teach them here in Bombay in the pool, they do the theory, they do their examinations and then we travel with them outbound to many destinations and complete their certification. Uh, so it's been a fantastic journey so far but there are two, two emotional emo uh, moments for me which I'd love to share with you is uh, while I was diving in the Lakshadweep in 95, 96, 97, it was beautiful. 98 is when things changed because we had this sudden rise in temperature of uh, the water and I could feel that 29 degrees has now gone to like 32 degrees. But within a week's time, uh, we dived on a few dive sites which were beautiful and we named them like a garden of Eden and heaven and earth and etc, etc. The entire reef had uh, been devastated. It became white and we were really shattered because that's when the reefs died and it was like, it, it just hurt us and we were really sad about it and at that point we were, didn't know what much to do but we, we obviously were really shocked and we just gave it time and thinking that what leaves us to die and so on but the reason is because of this current and this is all part of global warming. So that's what really shattered us and you know we as a dive center now back in Bombay um, try to educate our students a lot about the carbon footprint and we try to do it ourselves. So when we do our dive trips we always carry a little net bag. Whenever we are diving if you see plastic, cans, things that you can lift from the bottom we do that and we get it out, not to you know uh, show it off to the world and all, but we just do our bit by getting all the rubbish out if we can. Um, we also educate our guests that you need to carry uh, your own bottles to dive trips because you don't want to use the plastic bottles and then you know so much plastic and so on and so forth. So these are the things that we really look after and take care of, and even in our pool trainings where we're teaching at the pool site. We are constantly educating them about reef, the water, the safety, the pollution that's going on. Uh, and people do listen to us and, and it's good to see sometimes people doing things out of just hearing about us talk about it. So it's, it's always a pleasure. 
And I love that in there because it's 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 an individual who needs to be the advocate eventually and you know be the ambassador for the sea and look after it and protect it. We can all do our own part and the work. Um, moving on from there is uh, another fantastic experience I've had. Um, you know, we, we went on a dive trip to the Galapagos and it was one of the dives that, that was really life-changing experience actually, it was after the dive. So during the dive when we were finishing, uh, we, we saw a few whale sharks, a lot of hammerheads, it's beautiful, great dive, everybody was amazed. But when we were coming back to the surface, at a point our instructor and guide noticed these huge fish, I mean mammals, underwater. And I couldn't see them because they were a little far away from me, but I was, I mean, reachable distance from my guide. And he um, looked at it and, you know, he was really excited and animated underwater. So when we came back on the surface, he was screaming, orcas, orcas. Now, orcas are the killer whales. Uh, they're beautiful animals. They always hunt in a pod. So we were back on the boat, really excited. And, you know, we asked him that, can we jump in to swim with the orcas? So he's saying, yeah, why not? Because these orcas are hunting hammerheads. They're not going to be bothered by you, so you're not on the menu at all. So it was, before he could even say anything, we all, like, all of us were excited, but I think about six of us put on our masks, snorkel and fins, and I had my camera running, jumped into the water. The first thing I see is this pod of orcas and the female orca, who's the leader. She turns and she started coming towards me. And I was quite close to the boat, but I just saw her coming close to me and there was eye contact maintained and... She looked at me, I looked at her, I was like, hello, I'm sorry to be here, but you know, you're amazing. And that's what I could do and my heart was racing. But that moment she came really close and then she looked at me and just left. And I said, why are you going away? But yeah, but she left and it was, it was a lovely moment and then we swam further and there was this group of orcas which were swimming around us and under us and there were a few babies. So it was, it was a fascinating experience, you know. It was a humbling experience. We, we felt like, dude, you are the apex and I'm happy to be here and we respect your ocean. So I could actually keep talking about the diving experiences in my life because there have been so many and they keep happening and I'm always grateful that I can keep diving still. And it's a, it's, it's a pleasure to do this and teach people. Um, moving on from the diving, you know, I took it to another zone where we also are a professional unit in the industry where, which is the filming industry, uh, Bollywood and advertising and so on. So we as a company with trained professionals underwater, uh, you know, execute underwater shootings for movies. So there are lots of movies that we've done, but that's the demo part of it. But what goes into it is a lot where we have to train the actors, you know, get them comfortable, see how they perform, make them do the work as for the sequences. And they really appreciate it because some, some of them are diving for the first time or some of them are on swimmers. But, you know, with the experience we teach them and they, they really enjoy it and respect the moment. And sometimes if you're shooting in the outdoor locations, again, there's a brief about the environment and so on and so forth. So people are really enjoying it and respecting it. And a lot of young film actors are learning how to dive and are certified and are just enjoying themselves whenever they're on holiday. So it's, it's good that I've tried to do what I like doing into two different uh, streams of teaching people, taking them diving, certifying them, or a filming company where you execute an underwater project. And that's, that's been a fantastic journey so far. Um, as I would always say is karo to jano, which is try it and you will believe it, because I could keep talking and we could many, many talks, many times, and so on and so forth. So for all those who haven't ever tried diving, uh, it's, it's a good experience, it's a good moment, that it will enlighten you, and yes, we teach in a pool, so you won't see much in the pool, but this is just your training ground, so once you travel and get to a diving destination like Lakshadweep or the Andamans, which is in India, you go diving along our coastline, which is also not bad at all, and you know, you can experience the sport, get certified, and lots of doors would open up within the diving industry. So I really hope uh, you can take it up and we're always here to help you and guide you with that part of it for sure. And it's uh, been a pleasure to talk to you all. And, and 
Thank you all for listening in and uh, thank you TEDx. Have a good evening.